Mio's back, and between last episode and now, I did a little bit of training and made it back to Flocacy Town, and we've got most of the team at level 13, except for Rill at level 10, and I haven't really trained Russell, but probably going to put Russell in the Pokemon box anyways. We can free up a team spot for whatever we catch next. At the moment, so we have team bosses stocked up on a few items as well, mainly potions. Also found an like a trainer that, well, not trainer, a non player NPC sort of thing who gave us an Ultra Ball. So, yeah, so that's good. Could take a look around Flocacy Town. I haven't actually done that properly, but we want to carry on. That's the main thing. You have a habitat list to add to the Pokedex. Okay. <clears throat> no, we'll save the explanation. Yep. Okay. On to the next destination. We basically need to go the direction of where that hiker was. That's what it was. Hiker is there. You are going to let me pass. You're going to battle me first. Of course you are. Good thing we start our lead as Rose. Gonna be an easy win. Alrighty then. You weren't that much of a challenge. Yep. You've moved out the way. Perfect. And I bet there's more trainers along here. You're... Strong trainer, okay. Mm-hmm. You've got the Psyduck. Now I could switch Rose out for Ymirin to get the type advantage. But given that it's one level off evolving, I'm just going to stick with Quick Attack. Who's stopping me now? Sharon and Hugh. Okay. This is the grass that... That... Bianca was vaguely mentioning, but this is the one that... Oh, picture berries. Yes. You should do your best too. 
We gotta train in the grass. We're gonna train in the grass. We technically want to put those berries on the Pokemon, but I think we'll wait till we get to the gym itself to put the berries on it. Just on the off chance that we accidentally use them up from wrong move but not that it's going to phase us too much that one I just didn't count There we go. Oh, it's not evolving. Maybe it's level 17, that's right. I thought it was level 14 it evolved. Did it fool me again? I'm sure they've fallen for that before. Either way, I'm going to put real on the front. And we can do some... That's the encounter we want. We've got Venipede and Purloin. We've got Double Battle Grass. Focus the attacks on the Venipede so that we can. Now we aim them for the purloin. <clears throat> I'm going to catch the ah oh, the fainted rail. It's the problem with double battle grass. Actually, got to pay attention to both Pokemon. Either way, I'm going to. I'm going to make sure we catch this Venipede for our team. <laughs> This will come in handy. Now I just need to focus the attacks on the Purloin to take the Purloin out. So we can throw the Pokeball at the Venipede. Right, come on, just let me take it out, it's withstanding it, maybe I'll just try Thundershock on the pair line. And vine whip, let's use the stab moves. <clears throat> and the people is free with rap, I think we won't use it on
I'm going to just to be safe because I know it's not going to do too much. Okay. Good. I might use the Great Ball just to be safe. Got it. Keep dokey. It goes think of a name. Poison type. Poison bug. Yana. I'm making a Doctor Who reference there, like Professor Yana. Besides going back to the actual Pokemon Center and Flock of Thieves, so I'm just going to carry on. We may have Zeril fainted at the moment, but we'll make do with the rest of the team. I'm going to probably. Use a actually probably a good time to potion up Yana now actually. tackle. Maybe we should go back to the Pokemon Centre. Mm, we'll be fine. We still have potions yet. Potion on Floof and move Floof to the front of the team. Whilst we look at the summary of Yana Defense, Kill, Roll Up, Poison Sting, and Screech. Don't have any bug moves at the moment, but what level was that? Level ten? Yeah. Did I battle them? Yes, I did. other people here you have a dunsparce first things first about you and that is going to be paralyzing whatever we <laughs> okay. Did 
Don't tell me. Pursuit. I'm glad I didn't switch out. Boosting its defense. I kind of actually want to catch a Dunspar, so I don't know where to find it. Maybe after this I'm going to scroll through the Pokedex and see if I can find where I'd find it in the habitats. There's the Paralysis. Hit hard with a Thundershock. Dunspar's down. Nice. Dire hit. There's another item down here. Antidote. It's good to have. Pat wrap. Let me take that down. Sunkern. Cool Pokemon, but the fact that I already have both a Swaddle and a Snivy on the team, it's definitely not going to be added to my team. And we have Double Battle Trainers. Who am I going to put as the two Pokemon at the top? Let's go Frozen Floof. Confident that this will be the best play. <coughs> Two sun cones. Okay. Definitely the best play because I've got a flying type. And the shock one, guess the other. And do the same thing again, it depends on who hits first, Rose hits first, we have taken down the Sunkerns, that was a simple double battle, hmm, on with this way I guess, okay, Ordinary? The rustling grass. We'll go back there briefly because they're mentioning Ordinary and it's because of the rustling grass. I'm sure I've seen Ordinary in the last lot, but we need to actually wait for rustling grass. Which risks ourselves to actually have to battle against sort of double battles in wild Pokemon, but <clears throat> might actually be able to be good for some training. Because, <clears throat> and on my previous 
sort of play through. I didn't get, like in the Pokemon White game, I didn't actually catch an Aldino. And I kind of want to run Aldino on the team now. Now I've been reminded about it. How long is this going to take? <clears throat> How long is it going to take? Ended up fainting floof. <coughs> oh, the pursuit for it all, then I come on. Move a mirror in there and there. We're definitely going to keep Rose in the front. I'm still going to try and hunt for Adorno. I don't know if. I'll give it two more tries. We don't have any rustling grass. It seems a bit like a waste of time, I think. Next time I find double grass, I'll give it a go. But what's the bit that's going to show up the moment I go back this way that's all good so we will have to worry about catching an Aldino another time doesn't want to show what okay yes great balls Mm-hmm. That's good. We got some more. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. We are in Verbank City. All the interactions. Okay. <clears throat> okay, there is the captain and the Roxy. All right. Sums up. Sums up to the way some people would talk. Some of the dead stuff. Stuff, dopey, dopey, dickers. Causing trouble for people. Oh. Oh. It's the boat captain. If you take a note of the town map, we're here. And it will sail us over to there to get to that point. They need the boat captain. It seems like the boat captain goes to Pokestar Studios, which I'm going to have to deal with eventually. Here's that metal guy.
Yep. Mm -hmm. You have questions? Outside at heart or home? It depends on what situation. I'm just going to put the Niva. Thing that everyone knows or the thing nobody knows. Both's good. I'll go the thing nobody knows at the moment. Common sense. Common sense is good. And should I get some more items? What have we got? We gotta get. Not super potions is an option, but. Getting more potions. I may as well stock up on one Paralyze here, just in case. Mainly because, one, if I want to heal whatever I capture that I've sort of paralyzed myself, or... So how would you get the complex? Complex is here. Oh, we get Burn Hill. Repel knowledge. Now. Oh. Now. Yes, they do. Talk to you. Yep. So basically this house gets us a free burn heal from one of the people. I'm gonna check the trash can. That was worth it. We found an antidote. Other houses around here. Oh, there's the gym. Magnemite in the complex. Okay. We've got Pokeballs. Hmm. What's in here? Okay. Yep. And let me say this is the way to the boats. We have I don't want to give that a try because the wireless functions are irrelevant in a playthrough. <laughs> Especially since the wireless functions of this game are now no longer available. I'll get to the complex eventually. Yes. Not chog, it's being with you. Okay. I talk to you. Middle. Very hard to see the doors of this building. There's an item there. Someone's got their order now. Poker toy. Yep. That's 
is basically just the same stairwell, talk to that same person. Yes. What's up here? Yes. It seems like the training in the complex is the main thing. And what's up here as well? There's another path way to get there. Question is, how do we get to it? Can we go behind the Pokemon Center? No. Is there a gap between there? No. The Undercity? This way is towards the boats. Done that bit already. Maybe if it's entering that other side, or am I just wasting time? I don't know. I heard a bubbly bit in the water. Is it? Down. Can't really tell. Let's just head to the complex. Ah, oh, wait a minute. Complex has the pathway. Oh. Yes, we got a bit of we got a bit of ball. There we go, we're back in Verbank. <laughs> Don't know what that is, but it's part of the complex. Silk scarf. Alrighty then. All that walking to just find the silk scarf. Then more, I don't know. Seems like there's water here, so not that we can go on it yet. It's very hard to see the water because of the snow, but let's find our first encounter in this place. Of course it's a pet rat. Let's let that be. It's in here, nothing. Let's try this again, shall we? Maybe we'll be better off with further into the complex. The cut tree. That is irrelevant right now. We can't use cut. Nor can we access anything along there. Hmm. 
There's walking platforms too. Yep. Oh, yep. We need to. Oh, we need to find all the workers. We can see one. Take down the little pup with our gust. One more hit. Level 15. Yeah, that is a good move. We get rid of Leah. Okay. Allocate. Two things as notes. Number one, that we need to switch from rows into something else. Well, I probably won't be capturing it. As much as the buzz sounds pretty cool in the long run, I think I'll stick with floof. Paralysis. Front, we are going to use the perilous hill that we got. Use a potion. Cool. Got to find the workers now. That's the Magnemite that was recommended we capture. Tell you what, if it survives, three, yeah. Should be able to. Let's just toss the Ultra Ball at it. If it catches, it catches. If it doesn't... Yeah. Steel. Magneto, of course. Wait. Yeah. Magneto will be. 
I'll call it mage actually. Mage is better. Mage the Magnemite. Magneto or any magnet puns basically a normal go to for many people with sort of naming Magnemite. So Mage is a different make a different coughing. Now this I'm capturing. Super effective though. And they hurt by poison. So now's the opportunity to use the great ball. Mm-hmm. Caught. Zinga. We don't have any repels. Right. Given that we've got that now to factor in. Yana will have to be in the front of the team for now. And we get up. Who are you? Around an opponent. Woobat. Hold out. Nope, that didn't work. I was going to do the defense called rollout strat. Okay. Under shock, then there we go. Floof is level fifteen. Charge. Everyone charge. Loof is evolving. Loof's our first evolution. Marvelous. As a fly fair, it will definitely be very useful. Habitat list. Oh, that's right. I was going to look at the habitat of a Dunsparce. Gives us a good chance to look at the actual Pokedex too. 
Dunsparce. I was going to find that out. Area. It's not the thing, it's... On Route 20 and... Flossy Ranch, okay. Also further along in the game. Route 6. Let's see one then. I don't know. Oh well. Up these we go. Somehow we'll need to get along here somewhere. Is that item anywhere? No, that's not an item. We need to walk along these beams, 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 beams. Be very careful. Is the worker along here? Yes, there's the worker there. But there's more stuff down here too. There's an item down here. That's what we need first. Ten forty six thief. Who can we teach that to? Hmm. Nobody. Nobody yet. Hello, worker. So there's magpies around here too, is there? I'm just hoping... Critical hat, good. Right. Ear cutters are doing something. And the first thing I know that I'm going to need to do is heal up after this battle. Level 16. Yep. Indeed. Antidote. Cure me of the poisoning. We have three potions. We use one on Rose, we use one on Amirin, and we save the other one till when we need it. We're definitely finding it where we have a lot of items that we need to hang on. Which way do we go now? This way, this way, this way. Oh, we do go up on this platform. This works. Not that anyone's there. That way. Another person down that way that I don't think I've seen yet. <coughs> I'll go over there eventually. Already up here, we're not going to get back down straight away. Detect. <coughs> K 
Keep it up. Mirror in time. Mirror in. Let's vine up. Yep. Go for tackle this time. Hmm. Defense fell, but I still got through. Alrighty. I think I need to go with Pokemon. We're using the last potion on. And now I can go into the line and actually use that button, but <coughs> already there, so we may as well do it this way. Balance, balance, balance. The work is over there. Like I said, I'm already on here, so I want to see what is up about this, so... Youngster Waylon. Actually, double check to make sure we can catch Magby here because I'm not leaving this area without one if that's the case. Magby. Oh! I know what the catch is. It's a version exclusive to black two, not white two. Okay, this is where we jump down. We deal with the third worker. Two Pokemon. <coughs> Mm-hmm. Endure. It's going to survive this hit. Quick attack. Stay in, use Gust. Yep. And then at the end of this battle, we will have another evolution. Perfect. Rose is level 17. Sweet. And why? What level does it evolve? I keep forgetting what level this. Do I keep forgetting what level the dove evolves? <clears throat> Either way. Oh, 
I'm going to have to switch. goes to static again. Well, no low kick. I'm better off taking it out. Yep. Shall we? Mirror at the top. Let's see if we can get to that guy that we saw before that I don't think we've interacted with. That was a good hit. <clears throat> Paralysis. And quick attack. Alrighty. We're getting there though. What's this way? There you are. Oh? What? Growlithe. We do have a fire type here. We need a fire type for our team. I am switching him around out and we will send in Rel. No, yeah. And Air Cutter will be able to hit both Pokemon. Despite the fact we're going up against an electric type, which is probably not a good idea for Rose. I'd much rather have the chance to hit two things at once with that. <coughs> Gralito's helping hand. Okay. Air cutter. Rel We are gonna to have to switch to floof. Right. Now we get to the point where we have to focus our attacks on Magnemite. Rose goes down, we will send an Irving.
Thunderwave the Growlithe because that will be essential for helping capture and Irving's down of course Supersonic that does not help either One thing's guaranteed is I'm definitely going to need to go and heal after I've done this. Tackle the Magnemite. Return the Magnemite. Come on, hit through for confusion. Yes. <clears throat> Hold out floof we got to take the magnemite down so we can catch the growlithe tackle the magnemite just to be safe tell what the growlithe because I do not want to damage the Growlithe any further. <coughs> there we go. Alright. Great ball. Give a nickname to the court Growlithe. Hmm. I'm going to name it Hugo. Because it's loyal and I'm thinking of the dog Hugo. So we're going to name it Hugo. And we have to now navigate through, and we would have had a next encounter being a Growlithe anyways. Scientists is around here somewhere as well, but he's around more of this place. The hell again? Where you running off to now? Follow him. Good. Good that you're not going anywhere near the grass. Yes, come on. Oh, we got Nefer. <coughs> that was worth it. Where are you going now? Could find him again, but I think at the moment our oh TM ninety four rock smash. <coughs> Yes. I think the plan is this. We go back to the Pokemon Center, we heal up, we get some items, 
and we change our team up so we're prepared for the gym. Which I'll probably be doing next time. But yeah, I'll get some training in between that. What Pokemon are we going to put in the team? They suggested we use Magnemite, but we're not going to use Magnemite because technically it has no, no steel type moves. We've got Coughing, which would be a great addition to the team, and we've got Growlithe, which is also a great addition to the team. <clears throat> and I think I know exactly who I'm switching out. We've got a poison type on the team that's easy to switch out and didn't do didn't feel very well in its first battle anyways and I do want to keep first of all I'm gonna look at we do want roll and we do Irving, yeah, I think the call is to switch out Irving. Yeah, let me move in there. Yep. <coughs> yeah, maybe we'll be able to teach some. Think to one of them. TMs. Actually, whilst you're at it, Petra Berries give. If you're going to focus on the gym, you're going to probably put Floof as one. You're going to put. Here goes another. And Rose is the third. Oh, what the hey? Why don't we just go and to do the gym now? Why not? Jump in there. Get out of the way. <laughs> potion. We have six potion. Now, what items can we sell to get more potions? We've got Aether, which we'll hold on to. Dire Hit. 325. Boost the power of normal type moves. That doesn't help us much. We'll keep the Pokedoid just in case we need to flee from something. And we'll get one more potion and two more antidotes. Excuse me, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's see what the gym is like anyways. We may as well go and just see what it's like. See if we can get it out of the way. And then focus on Pokestar Studios next time. <coughs> yep. Go in. Everything music related. Yep. Oh, 
I'm loving listening to this. We're going to need to take out the trainers before we talk to her. We need to... I forgot to teach Pokemon notes from the teams. But we'll get there. Grimer. And we have Emera in the lead. I'm sure we'll figure something out. Oh, the Sableye. Eh? How much damage will Vine Whip do? Not much at all. Right. Intimidate's good. Immediately consuming the berry. <coughs> Righty then. And we've got Ember disabled. Which means that... We need to immediately switch. I'm really glad I saved these berries for the gym. At least that Pokemon was sub at the moment sub power level with the gym trainer. Thunder Shock. Again with the the sable. Again with the the stat the disable. Right. I wonder if I switch in now, my Pokemon will be able to use its move again. Let's see, Disable is not going to affect it anymore, I don't think. And we've intimidated the coughing. Yep, we're good. You go, avoided the poison gas, good. You're gonna be good boy. Yep, there we go. We've got it down. <coughs> Another thing you'll notice is that the drumming stops. Hmm. And the thing is, they actually managed to do this, so like, it's cool how they actually managed to do the actual rocking out with the actual band thing here. But, in Sword and Shield, when they actually had Piers, who's another sort of gym leader that actually had the singing skill, they actually did nothing when it came to his sort of... Thing, which was slightly disappointing in that aspect, but <coughs> okay, we are trying our luck here, I guess. We know not to use our grass type move, and we know that we can handle standing a few hits as we go. We I think we can take one more hit before I have to heal again. Yep. <clears throat> yeah, I'm doing that that way. We 
avoid the attack and the rap is doing us justice <coughs> That's good. Start off with rap. I'm going to see. I feel like using Lear actually. Drop defense. And now I'm going to need a heal. Heal, then layer, then tackle. That's the plan. <clears throat> and we're poisoned. Leah, as I planned, lowering the defense, and yep, we know we got poison and tackle. Let's see how much damage it'll do now. Okay, assurance. <clears throat> we have one more hit, I think. I think we can take this out with one hit. There we go. Yep. Level 16. Yes. Leaf Tornado. Perfect. I'm not getting rid of Leia just yet. Although this can lower the target's accuracy. I'm getting rid of Vine Whip for Leaf Tornado. I still feel like Tackle's going to come in handy, and as you've seen, we've managed to utilize Leah to our advantage. Now before we take on Roxy... We Antidote... We use the fresh water. And we leave with floof for a chance of per for paralysis. Straight into it. Two Pokemon. <clears throat> Her first one is a coughing. And that's at level 16. And like we need to do, we plan to Thunder Wave it to do that. Next is Thundershock. The paralysis is perfect. Marvelous. We're not learning charge. Well paid. Now I'm going to do something that is a little bit risky, but it's for the level up purpose. A switch tactic, we switch back into floof. We get hit by the pursuit, which was a risk, but we survive. <coughs> I 
Yep. Cool. And now for the third part of the plan. Switch into Hugo. For the Intimidate. No poison on us. And yet we forget to teach the moves again, don't we? In the shark. Okay. Rose. I gave you that pitcher berry for a reason. Let's use ear cutter. <laughs> You are faster than the Whirlipede. Perfect. Okay. We did not get a level up. Cool. We got the badge. Two badges. Marvellous. I know exactly who I'm teaching Ben Shock to. Right. Go into the TM slot. We're going to teach Thief. Rock Smash and Ben Shock to Pokemon. Bazinga. Come in, Thief. We are going to take away Tackle for now. I'm also teaching Thief to, to Hugo so that it has another attacking move. So we don't have to have that problem with thing. We're going to get rid of Ozloof for now. Next is Rock Smash. Who can learn Rock Smash? Hugo can learn Rock Smash. Remove Helping Hand. One more. Floof is going to learn Rock Smash too. Get rid of Growl. It seems so quiet without the music playing. And it's... <clears throat> and finally... Venishock. Which leads to Bazinga. We get rid of Smog for Venishock. Now the gym's quiet, we may as well we may as well leave and heal up and then be oh there's the music again. Perfect. Yep. We're going to Pokestar Studios next time. We shall get out of here and heal up and yeah, but the ambience of no music is a bit, <laughs> then yeah, but like I say, next time we'll be heading into Pokestar Studios, till then this is Mew signing out.